now available in paperback and e-readers, Isis, Amari's Revenge. The Goddess Next Door is confronted by a new being queen out for revenge at the Metropolitan Museum of Art in this inaugural Isis series adventure. Get your copy of Isis, Amari's Revenge in paperback and e-readers at Amazon.com and online booksellers everywhere. Janice Burgess, the creator of The Backyardigans, passed away on March 3rd of this month. And I'm deeply saddened to hear about the passing of Janice Burgess because the mainstream media really didn't talk that much about this legendary black television executive and her contributions to children's television programming. Now, Janice Burgess had a major impact on the life of many of the millennial and Gen Z viewers that watch this channel, and I wanted to pay tribute to the sister and all of the great contributions she gave to television and the development of children as related to learning about life on the TV shows that she worked on, such as the show um, Gullah Gullah Island, Ghost Rider, and the show that she created, The Backyardigans. Now, Janice Burgess started out being born in 1952, and she was raised in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And as she grew up, she graduated from Brandeis University in 1974 with a degree in art history and worked starting her TV career as a volunteer, working at Pittsburgh's PBS station, WQED, working in craft services. Now, craft services was a position usually dealing with catering and food, However, Janice Burgess was uh, good at working the schedules and making sure everything was set up. And as she got to know many people at WQED, she learned more about television. And, and the more she learned about television allowed her to get into the children's television workshop where she worked as a project manager in 1992 on the legendary PBS series Ghost Rider that I watched several episodes of as a Gen Xer because I used to watch a lot of PBS back then. And as she worked on Ghost Rider, she developed those project management skills that caught the attention of Nickelodeon and eventually wound up joining Nickelodeon in 1992 where she became an executive in charge of production of legendary Nickelodeon shows like Gullah Gullah Island, which was a major show because it was one of the first black children's shows on cable TV, and then worked on the iconic 1990 series Blue's Clues, a show that was an icon of the 90s for so many kids growing up. I mean, so many kids. This was the, one of their major shows of their development. A lot of millennials who were on the end of the spectrum. This was a major show for them. And eventually what happened to Janice Burgess is she eventually wound up becoming a vice president over at Nick Jr. Now, as, as Janice Burgess was a vice president at Nick Jr., she eventually worked with people like Bill Cosby in creating the TV show Little Bill. And for Little Bill, Janice Burgess won an Emmy. And she won that Emmy because the Little Bill program was absolutely fantastic. Another show that I watched now and again because it really chronicled the life of a character who was like a young Bill Cosby and showed us the time of the childhood of Bill Cosby. And after she got the daytime Emmy for that show, she then created her, her signature show, which was The Backyardigans. Now, The Backyardigans was based on an idea that Janice Burgess had for a live action show called Me and My Friends, where people were gonna wear full body puppet custom costumes, but the executives didn't go for that, so she suggested computer animation to give us the Backyardigans. And the Backyardigans was a major part, again, of many millennial and Gen Z kids' childhood. I would really say a lot of Gen Z kids' childhood because this was a major show for a lot of kids growing up. I mean, this computer animated show, which basically was about these four, five animal neighbors, Unique Lo, Pablo, Tyrone, Tasha, and Austin, 
they would meet in the backyard and they were inspired by Janice Burgess's own backyard experiences and these imaginary adventures would be ones that the kids would go on visiting different parts of the world traveling back and forward in time and kids would learn a lot of lessons from watching Backyardigans and this show was one that again had a major impact on children's development and it really was a show that really helped a lot of kids really again learn about the world because that's what good children's programming is all about it's about helping kids learn about the world and learn about how they can have a part of life in the world so Janice Burgess did have a major impact on the lives of children all over the world as related to the numerous programs she worked on from Ghost Rider to Gullah Gullah Island to Blue's Clues to Little Bill and as she did the show The Backyardigans she eventually wound up getting another I think another daytime Emmy for that show and after winning two Emmys she had such great success and continued on as an at working as a creative director and story editor later on for another I believe another big Gen Z show which was Wings Club a lot of people don't know how big Wings Club is I remember watching it when it was on as related to the four kids TV block and a lot of girls love that show I mean Winx Club was one of those big shows for a lot of the people who are in their 20s right now I mean a lot of girls watch that show and the storytelling on there was very solid and one of the reasons why that show was solid as related to its storytelling is because Janice Burgess was the story editor writer and creative director of Nickelodeon's Winx Club from 2014 to 2016 and then eventually went on to become an executive consultant over at DreamWorks Animation Television. Now, Janice Burgess, again, had a very great career in, in, in entertainment, and she really used her skills to help really shape the lives of many young children, having a positive impact on all of those kids with all of the great contributions she gave as related to children's programming. And I would have to say that we really lost one of the great teachers as related to children's programming i mean she started out um just looking to go and volunteer as related to catering but wound up cooking up some of the greatest television shows of the 90s and the 2000s and 2010s transforming the lives of children all over the world and when i think of the contributions janice burgess made they really remind me of those of the late great Dwayne mcduffie a guy who many people really didn't know had such an impact on their lives because Dwayne McDuffie had a major impact on me as he was the he was first starting out at Marvel Comics with comics like Damage Control and then graduate then went out here and created the Milestone Universe and then after creating the Milestone Universe of Hardware Icon Blood Syndicate and Static created the Static Shock TV show which had a major impact on children's lives and then further had an impact on lives because he was the writer of most of the episodes of Justice League Season 2 and Justice League Unlimited, another major part of many millennial and Gen Z's lives. And I'm seeing two of the greatest people have having an impact on millennial and Gen Z's lives. Most people don't know that black people had an impact in entertainment. And Janice Burgess was one of the great sisters out here as related to children's entertainment. I mean, she basically had a major impact on people all over this world as one of the black female executives out here. We don't really get to see many black female executives in positions of power and using her influence to have a positive impact on the lives of children all over the world. I'd have to say we really lost a great lady in Janice Burgess and one of my viewers wanted me to talk about her in depth and the more that I learn about her the more she reminds me of Dwayne McDuffie and the more she reminds me of the legacy that Dwayne McDuffie had and the great contributions that she's given to society I mean she had a great contribution in the society of shaping the lives of children helping them learn about the world and learn about life in all of the programs she worked on and that is a great legacy as I see it I mean she had a great legacy in helping out children learning about life in this world 
on on all of the shows that she worked on and she was one and from what i've seen as related to shows like wings club a really solid writer as related to storytelling and as little bill again another solid show i mean truly a gifted and talented woman and she will definitely be missed by me and many of the viewers who watched all of her great programming now available in paperback and e-readers isis legacy Sorority Secrets of the Goddess Next Door are revealed in this all-new Isis series adventure. Get Isis Legacy in paperback and e-readers at online booksellers everywhere. Now available in paperback and e-readers, John Haynes, 1987. Learn lessons about life and teenage love in the 1980s in this coming-of-age John Haynes story. Get your copy of John Haynes, 1987 in paperback and e-readers at Amazon.com and online booksellers everywhere. Support Black-owned and Black-operated digital broadcast media, www.niceradionetwork.com. Nice Radio Network, broadcasting 24 hours a day, 7 days a week.